Prolifoid-A-Go also has the ability to hide or mask buttons. Um, for this system, um, I also do have what we call, what I call a masked version. If um, you believe, usually the parents or the team um, to just get started in learning a system um, might require just having a couple things um, hidden or masked just to get them um, really confident with the system. And so I have a version already ready um, and some stuff already hidden for you. You can totally access that um, by clicking the link on this guide. Remember to get that, you do have to be on an iPad so you can totally click the link and send it to yourself or send it to the family and then open it up on the iPad um, and then it will download for you. So the biggest thing on here is there are two different things that I might look at when you're trying to mask things. And so one of the biggest things that is specific to Proloquo Go is what they call progressive language. And so um, they already have a whole system um, that has like a tiered system of things that are masked. And I think it's like step one through as many steps as it takes. I think for the six by 10 grid size, it's five steps. Um, and so what they use is they use developmental data for our typically developing kids and wh what words they're using first. Again, you do, um, I think using this tool is really great. You do wanna note that for kids using AAC systems as they're developing, they develop language a little differently. So sometimes words that they're developing first is a little different than the, um, the verbal um, language of English. So. Just keep that in mind, um, as well as if you have a Gestalt language processor, sometimes this can be a little funky for them as well. So when you go to the gear in the bottom right hand corner and you go to vocabulary, which I'm clicking on right now, you'll see that there is progressive language and I'm clicking on it and that is what you would wanna press on. And so you'll see step one through step five and it can go all the way to step 10 depending on the number of buttons that you started with. And so it'll really change. So step one, if you look at it, it just has some early vocabulary, um, including go and other things like that, um, including some of the activity pages. Um, it doesn't hide as much on the activity pages, but it does hide some stuff um, than in the general version. Go back to the gear. Um, step two is 26 buttons. And you'll see they'll kind of, um, until all the buttons are there, it'll kind of build up to it. Um, so let's say you want to start with step three um, and you still have some extra stuff that you want to um, either make visible or hide. Um, so if you are in the system, you go to the pencil right next to the gear and you'll see that all of the super grayed out things are the ones that are hidden in this version. And so what you wanna do is you want to click on a button that you wanna hide. Like for example, let's say um, you wanna hide two. Um, for example, for me, that's kind of a sentence building word. I don't always model that super early on with my students. And let's say you just wanna hide that word and maybe you wanna hide is. So you see how I've clicked those two buttons. When you bring the little, um, you know, on the bottom, there's a row with all the editing features. When you bring that up on the left-hand corner, pressing that little arrow, you'll see that there's a difference since you've clicked more than one button. It's not like showing, oh, you can edit this, but it's showing little appearance um, section on the left-hand corner. And so you can go through to the bottom piece and you can click on visibility. And so you'll see that you have the ability default is gonna be that it's shown in this version. You can dim it, meaning it'll be visible, but like dimmed and you can hide it completely, which will gray it out completely. So when you click um, done in the top right hand corner, those will also be hidden. Um, and so that's really how you go in and hide things early on. You do not wanna stay on a hidden version uh, for an extended period of time. You wanna let the child explore and really gain the knowledge of where all the words are. Um, we always, we don't necessarily know what they already have in, um, in their brains and what they have learned. We also wanna give them the access that um, kids that use spoken language have, um, which is just being able to hear those words, um, even if they're, um, not using them yet because it does take a little bit longer before 
um, we understand things and then express them ourselves. So that is how you use both progressive language um, and uh, hidden words. You can use that across many things. You can hide multiple words or one. Um, it really um, is up to interpretation. Just remember to make things visible pretty early on so kids can explore their system.